Hello lovelies, this is Love It Lytical. We are back today with a new scenario challenge in The Sims 4. Last year EA released um, a couple challenges into the game for um, added gameplay, you know, to make to kind of spice up gameplay and also um, for new new players into the game they can kind of create their own stories with this. Uh, the one we are going to start today is the Too Many Toddlers scenario. Um, all the scenarios range from easy to hard um, but if you're a veteran simmer that been doing it a long time and done other challenges this might be two things for you. It might be a nice reprieve for creativity or it could just be boring for you and you'll just go along your way and find another challenge to amuse you. So the challenge we're going to be doing today is too many toddlers. So the aim is to get the happy toddler reward trait for this gaggle of whiz kids in the making. So there are two requirements for this uh, scenario. The first requirement is to have at least three toddlers. The second requirement is to have at least one young adult or older sim. So we will have, you can have a male or a female sim. I've chosen a, a female sim for this challenge and I'll explain why. And we're also going to have five toddler sims and that is into the story as well. The only potential outcome for this is for the toddlers to reach level three in four skills. They ha their four skills are imagination, potty, thinking, movement, um, and those skills can go up to five but in this for this challenge you just need to go to three. And for those that have done the 100 baby challenge, this would probably seem like, you know, a slice of pie. So I've already made a new household. So let me go ahead and show you guys. So before we even get into introducing the uh, characters here in this challenge, because this is my second time trying to record the intro uh, due to two effects. One was they just, <laughs> there was just chaos in the household and I was just getting <laughs> amused and distracted. And the second was my cats chose to f have an all out fight. So I had to stop. <laughs> so let's go ahead and I'm going to go show you the intro uh, of these characters. Then I will show you the the first part that I recorded and then I will catch up with you guys at the end. So this is the house. It's a nice pretty looking ranch. Green colors. The, the back right over here has a little nice picnic area, sliding, and a basketball hoop. Let's look at the house here. It is a toddler paradise for them. I mean, it is catered to these little Sims here. So we have a kitchen here for our main character to make meals, uh, a little bathroom for bladder needs. This living room here is super cute. It's just a bunch of bean bags and an area for them to eat, watch TV. We also have little dance area, stuffed animals for uh, the little young ones to talk, uh, a nice area for them. <laughs> see what I'm saying? There's a mess on the floor. You're going to see tons of those. Um, so we have a variety of different toys for them to play with, a dollhouse. We also have a bathroom here to take care of their needs. Um, and she also has her little private bath situated off of her bedroom here and this door is only open for her 
no toddlers. This is her little sanctuary to get away from. And then the little toddlers right here have their little sleeping quarters. It's really nice and sweet. So let's go ahead and introduce our main character here. This is the mom. Her name is Mary Lynn Kings. And her personality is she loves music, so she becomes happy when listening to music and also when playing instruments. And uh, we will definitely get her an instrument later on. Uh, family oriented, so she loves being around um, her children and her family, and she gets positive uh, moods for that. She's also erratic, well, because um, <laughs> she's raising five toddlers all at once. <laughs> so this sim is based off of my mom and my four other siblings. So I am one of these little toddlers, and so I just can't wait to be able to run around and cause mayhem with them. So the firstborn here is Chris. He's playful and he is a silly toddler so he likes to get playful and tell jokes and just talk to people um, and then the second born here is Tyler he is independent since Chris is just so silly uh, Tyler had to kind of pick up the slack here and be the leader of the rest of us he is creatively gifted The middle one here is Carl. He's the the last boy, but the middle child. He is a charmer, you know. He always had a way with, um, you know, his the ladies, his you know, the older ladies. They're like, oh, such a cute baby, you know, and uh, just had a way with people, um, and they they just love to socialize. Here is Deanna. She is the first daughter, but uh, you know she had a younger sister to help take care of. Uh, she is inquisitive, so she is happy when learning something new. You know, she was she always liked being around uh, the young, you know, the boys, and she's kind of like a tomboy, but. You know, she just enjoyed being around people and learning new things. And last but not least, right here <laughs> is me, Brittany, right here. Um, I am fussy. So I'm a little troublemaker and I like to throw fits and cry. But when I'm noticed by my mom and my siblings, it makes me happy. All right, so let's go ahead and um, jump into the first the first part of the recording that I have, and I will see you guys later. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more of this content. Welcome to Toddler Headquarters here. We have our mother here. Mary Lynn Kings. She has five wonderful children here. Oh, they're already getting at it. So he is silly. Uh, he loves to play, tell jokes and get playful and they learn their imagination faster. Uh, Chris does like to play jokes and he's really like happy being around his siblings. The second one here is the second eldest is Tyler. Oh, he's starting a mess already. He's independent. Since his eldest brother was a little bit too silly, uh, he had to take the role of being kind of like the eldest son. <laughs> Thank you. Girl, can you tell him not to make a mess? Uh, calm. Tell not to make a mess. And she's getting very playful. I'm not sure if I like this. <laughs> Alright. Oh, she's given up on that. 
So the third in line here is Carl. He's the middle child. He's a little bit of the black sheep. He is a charmer. He likes to talk to all the ladies. And then the first daughter here is Deanna. She is inquisitive by nature, so she she's an explorer, and she's happier when she's learning something new. And then the youngest, the little spoiled one here, is Brittany Kings. She is fussy. She, she loves to cry, cause trouble, and throw fits. Um, but being noticed makes them happy and helps them in overcome their negative moodlets. So, so Mary Lynn's goal here is to get, oh my goodness, is to get these children to level three on four of their skills here. So I'm going to show you Chris's. So we have communication. He's already level two imagination. And that comes with him being silly. Uh, movement, potty, and thinking. And Tyler is just making a mess over here. Can you just discipline him? <laughs> oh, I can't discipline him. <laughs> okay, why don't we just distract them then why don't you draw a pet and then you're gonna show it to your mom and she's gonna buy you one you go ahead and draw a friend and then why don't you go ahead and babble to the kitty cat Play dolls. And since they're busy, I think a way to productive time is to go ahead and cook some food. What kid doesn't like Franks and Beans? So Marilyn's going to work on that. We do have um, a pet feeder and a pet bed, so we will be getting a dog. I think it'll be a good motivation booster here for everybody oh who's playing hoops here look Chris is playing little basketball good job Chris dribbling the ball the, actually the person I thought it would be doing this first would be Tyler but Chris got me <laughs> oh my goodness oh. Keep trying, boy. Keep trying. He... Why are you getting into everything? Why? Okay. Why don't you just go potty? Since you're independent. And how are you doing? Alright. Oh. Somebody's talking to mom. Who's that? Deanna's talking to mom? Oh, they're hugging. She's like, I love you, little one. Okay, why don't you have her go potty then? So the only one that knows how to potty right now is Tyler, since he's independent. So we got to start pottying these kids. Ride Rocky Horse. Why don't you babble some? He's... Then you do rock a stack. Uh, don't don't make a mess, Chris. Why don't you just uh, help with the drawing? Draw chicken nuggy. <laughs> what happens a lot with the 100 baby challenges? Uh, the mom passes out a lot, and she pees her pants a lot. 
So <laughs> if that happens just a few times, I'll be fine with that. Play with the xylophone. Oh no, Chris already Chris already pottied himself. Alright, well we'll give up on Chris. And we'll potty train Brittany. Want you ride on the Rocky horse. What you thinking about blocks? I know. Uh, some of these items are custom content, well, most of all of them. So the rocking horses, the xylophone, the rock stack, and these drawing areas right here, as well as the basketball hoop, was made by other sim content creators. Um, I do remember most of this from my childhood. Oh my gosh, Deanna, making a mess here. You just silly. Tyler's doing really good with the xylophone. Don't get into the trash. Why don't you draw something? Draw a friend. Oh, and I'm going for some Franks and Beans here. Mom makes excellent quality franks and beans. I think she should have some too. Oh, Tyler's doing great here. Look at this. All right. Look at Tyler. He is level three already of his thinking skill. He is doing wonderful. So let's see. Have him do that and then... Just babble some. Are they... <laughs> Carl, don't eat in the bathroom. Come out in the living room and eat. He's like, I'm done. Okay. I want you to talk about a favorite color. Babble. Chris is having a great time. He's wagga, wagga, wagga. <laughs> ha ha, the world is so funny. Yes, wagga wagga, Chris. And then while she's hanging out, why don't we adopt a pet? Alright, so I figured out here. <laughs> Deanna getting into the pots and pans, see what I mean? It's just chaos. We are going to We are going to adopt a dog. <laughs> Just chaos, 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 chaos. <laughs> All right, here are the little doggies. I'd like to get an adult dog. Just, you know, but we will see. Stella. What is Stella here? Oh, she's a Welsh Corgi. Nice. Okay. Burger is a Bulldog. Cashy is a Cocker Spaniel. Patches is a Shetland Sheepdog. Schnauzer, a Border Collie, okay, Foxhound, a Poodle, <laughs> I was looking for a Chihuahua, but I have, I don't see, Cookie, that's funny, a male, I don't know, Stella is looking to be a winner here, uh, and maybe um, Laka, the Border Collie. We'll see these two. See how they interact with us. So they'll be here shortly. 
I'm kind of just letting the toddlers run amok right now. <laughs> That's the best situation right here. So, Tyler here is talking to the calico kitty here, babbling up to him. Chris, you know, he's decided to get on the rocking horse. Oh, wait, nap on the rocking horse. Oh, my gosh, that's so sweet. Oh, and I'm doing it, too. I'm napping on the rocking horse. We're napping together. <laughs> All righty. And Deanna's napping right over here. Everybody seems to be passing out. That's pretty funny. Here comes the doggos. Alright, Marilyn, you can't be playing with the dolls. Here's the first one. Oh, gosh. Getting into the trash can already. I'm going to do a cautious introduction to that one. And a cautious introduction to this one. All right, that's Stella. Aw, it's a cutie. Ooh, oh my. Laka. Okay, so she accepted the pet. Oh, it's kind of hard to decide which one. I think we're going to go with Stella. <laughs> She's talking with friends in, in the mirror over there. Thank you, Marilyn. Yes, I think all the siblings are going to love Stella, a little corgi, Stella Kings. Oh. <laughs> all right, let's see. Stella. Oh, so she's a sleuth. She's smart. She's active, so they really like running around and walking. And they're sleuth, so they like to investigate objects around the house. All right. There you go. It didn't end it. Sorry, Laka. We'll see you later. All right, so we added our little household member here, Stella. We're going to go ahead and fill the bowl for her. And then we're going to leave this at part one right here. I hope you liked the episode and <laughs> got as much laughs out of it as I did. And I'll join you for the next part.